my uh, home away from my real home, which is really a hotel somewhere in the world with the team. Uh, when I'm not with the team, this is where I come normally. This is my, my parents' home, but uh, I've lived here. We moved here when I was like, I think 14 or something. So it's been home for a while. Oh yeah, this is Roscoe. Come here, Roscoe. This is our little pug. He's not very smart, but we love him. This is my nephew, Austin. He's been dying to get on camera. He asked me three times if he's gonna be on TV. So that's my grandpa, he's 85. That's my dad's dad, he lives here. And then my mom and dad. And then when I'm here, and then it's Austin. So there's like four generations in one house. It's kind of wild. This is my room home away from home. My mom's done a little shrine. And it's just a little awkward because this is where I sleep. <laughs> yeah. I do probably need to get my own place. I'm almost 27 years old. Oh, I, I don't think so. I think <laughs> you stay here. I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> Eventually I will. Yeah, but it's hard to beat. Oh my gosh, it just, there's enough space when I come back. It's nice to come home and see my family. This is our local area YMCA. Um, I never really think about that I work out at the YMCA, but I guess it's kind of funny. It's just, I don't know. It's just always been the Y to me. I've been working out here since I was like 12 or 13. Not that I really worked out when I was 12 or 13. I just played basketball or something. So the magic happens. Not the magic, but some magic. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a two-part duel focus. At the same time, you want to just relax, um, kind of have that downtime, but you still have to keep the old body in shape. So our, our fitness coach, Don Scott, gives a little email every time we get home, and, and that's kind of on us to, you know, to know what our body needs um, and, and still be ready for the next camp. This is one of my um, come home mainstays. Um, not only does my mom work here, sometimes I come in and visit her, but uh, one of the best steaks I've had in the world. So this is like uh, a landmark in Reading um, and also a landmark in my life. My mom's been working here for 24 years or 25 years. This is the infamous tiny kitchen of Jack's Grill. Since the World Cup, she's been famous in Jack's. She doesn't want to admit it, but people come in there just to see her. They want to come and see her. They want to just give her tips just because she's her. They come in there. They want, autograph. they want her autograph. Come on now. <laughs> this is where we always used to come down. We we're like this big. Wow. Hey, mom. Yeah. Asking for 10 bucks. Can we get 10 bucks? Can we get 20 bucks? <laughs> Your kids, too. Sam, we're always yes. coming down. Can we get some money? Can we get some money? That's where we always. Yeah, this is it. This is a small little kitchen. A lot of the customers have known me or at least known oh, yeah. of me through her since I was like, you know, 12 or 13 and we started traveling and then we went to college and people kept up on that and then the Nash team and the pro and all this stuff. So it's like they've been following it for, you know, like 10 years or 12 years or something. Grew up in, um, this is Palisadro out here. It's about 10 minutes east of the city of Reading. I mean, it's all kind of sort of one. It's not very far out. So this is where I actually grew up. We lived out here until I think it was about 13. Growing up in Reading was just pretty peachy, really. I mean, we, I'll, I always say we because I have a twin sister, so I'll just say we. Um, we grew up outside of Reading a little bit on a little bit of property. Um, and we just kind of had the run of the whole place. Like, I don't know, maybe it's different now than when we grew up, but our parents were just kind of like, yeah, go ahead. My mom has this wicked whistle, and then once we heard the whistle, then we had to get back to the house. And we had to, like, book it, too. If we kind of lollygagged, she was pissed. We had the church right across the street that had, you know, baseball field and soccer field. There was a creek right up the street. Uh, we lived on a little bit of property. So a lot of times it was nice. It was just the two of us, or um, my cousin Steven would always be with us. Um, we just, the three of us just kind of roamed around. It was great. Pretty much this is it. This is a baseball diamond, or it used to be. It's kind of overgrown now. If we could get one more player, me and Rachel, then we would play three-person baseball with ghost runners. 
Someone would pitch and then probably go that way. Pitch it and then run and then someone would be over there and then we had ghost runners. Sometimes it worked out. Most of me and Rachel's games ended in fights, like that wasn't a foul or whatever. We rarely ever finished any games that we played, especially basketball. She said I fouled a lot. I did. I fouled almost out of almost every basketball game in high school. This is where I grew up. This is my house. I still have the original basketball hoop and everything. It looks a little different. There used to be this giant oak tree that they cut down, which I was a little devastated about again. But they said it was rotting. I'm like, whatever. Should have just left it. But yeah, this is where I grew up for 12 or 13 years. We travel so much, it's nice to come back to something so familiar. Although I do want to get my own place, obviously, uh, you know, want to have that. But it's, it's like, when will I ever get to see my family if I, if I don't? We spend so much time, you know, with our other family, our, our team, that it's, it's nice to be able to come home and, and just relax. I mean, it's just like probably the most relaxing, you know, one of a couple places in the world that's like truly relaxing. It's like home.